Now, when considering evidence for the existence of Christ outside of the Bible, one of the most popular pieces is that of the historian Josephus Flavius, who was a Roman Jewish historian and military leader. He did not convert to Christianity, yet he offers an interesting record about the man and the perceptions of him during this time. The Antiquities of the Jews Book 18, Chapter 3 Now there was about this time Jesus, a wise man, if it be lawful to call him a man. For he was a doer of wonderful works, a teacher of such men as receive the truth with pleasure. He drew over to him both many of the Jews and many of the Gentiles. He was the Christ, and when Pilate, at the suggestion of the principal men amongst us, had condemned him to the cross, those that loved him at the first did not forsake him. For he appeared to them alive again the third day, as the divine prophets had foretold these and ten thousand other wonderful things concerning him. And the tribe of Christians, so named from him, are not extinct at this day. Here he establishes a few things. Jesus was seen as the Jewish Messiah, viewed as more extraordinary than man, had a ministry, acquired the followings of thousands of Jews and Gentiles, non-Jews, was sentenced and crucified by Pilate, and his followers maintained the belief in him as it was reported of the resurrection as a possible event. Finally, as it was then and still is now, the followers of Christ are not extinct at this day. What this does prove is a lot of Christianity's central doctrines were widely known at the time of Josephus in 94 AD. Verifying what is written in the Gospels and gives an extra biblical account of the historical figure of the man named Yeshua, who is known for the English world as Jesus. The influence of Christ has not left and the prophecies he has made are coming true even concerning his return and reign as Lord and God of all. The nation of Israel will come to recognize Jesus as their Messiah, but the gospel is meant for all men and anyone can accept Christ as their Lord and Savior today. Matthew 28 verses 18 to 20 And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen.